Goodbyes and hellos. This is day 19 of 30 of rapid Facebook group growth. In 2023, in order to achieve what I've achieved in growing a Facebook group very quickly in one year, I had to say goodbye to a lot of things in order to be able to say hello to stuff I wanted. I had to say goodbye to excuses and how, so that I could say hello to realizations. I had to say goodbye to simply dreaming about something and pretending that dreaming about it and maybe journaling about it and pondering it, even though it was giving me a little hit of dopamine because I was kind of going towards my goal, was in the end self-sabotage because I wasn't taking massive action. And I wanted to say hello to massive results and massive action. And so I just say goodbye to simply dreaming about it. I just say goodbye to playing it small. I didn't want to put myself out on social media. I'd done a little bit of it years ago when it came with music and saw that, man, whenever you put yourself out there, you can certainly get, uh, well, you certainly will get lashback back from people that don't align with you. I just say goodbye to playing it small. I just say goodbye to hiding myself and not fully committing to a project and not fully committing to a course of action for a timeline because I wanted to say hello to a new version of myself that I'd not met yet. So as you are looking at growing your own Facebook group, you might want to make a list of things that you've known for a very long time that you're going to have to say goodbye to. And what that's going to do is open you up by faith to a bunch of things that you can't even potentially see yet, but they will come. You will shake new hands. You will go to new places internally and externally. You will have new opportunities come to you. I can attest to this, but you have to say goodbye to things that you know you have to say goodbye to. That is not easy emotionally because the familiar feels safe. The familiar feels like home. And in fact, it is or was home. But what if a new home awaits you? What if a better home awaits you? This time of year, like any time of year, there's this remembrance of people from the past, situations from the past. As we, as I age, I come more and more aware, become more aware of, of the mortality that I exist in in this plane. And just turning 48, I cannot deny that I have been in mid-age for quite some time already. And... Uh, the only two options I have for me is to medicate the reality that I've not achieved where I know that I came to achieve or else trim the fat and get real crystal clear on what am I doing and get rid of all distractions so that I have the best chance of achieving what I came to achieve. So goodbyes and hello, hellos, plural, if you're if you're feeling brave enough, let me know in the comments what you've what you are learning to say goodbye to. And the interesting thing is that I don't know, I wonder about if are are we able to actually say hello to new things without saying goodbye to the old? There there's the temptation to hang on to that. Right? What's that saying? You can only hold one watermelon in your hand at once. Can't hold two watermelons at once and Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that because I think it's pretty relevant to a lot of your lives right now. From what I've seen in the comments and the messages I get, a lot of you are craving to step into this new version of yourself. I want to step into a new version of myself, one that I've not seen in 2023. I want to see it in 2024. And so I know there's going to come things knocking on my door that I'm going to have to say goodbye to. And it's not to blame them or to shame them or to make them wrong and me right. All that trap of the ego is to simply go there in my life for a season and a reason. And the things which need to be in my life are going to become crystal clear. Because if they don't align with that ultimate vision of the reason I'm personally on this planet, I got to say goodbye to them. Because I want to say hello and only want to say hello to the things that are divinely aligned for me for 2024. And as you're looking at growing your Facebook group and you want to explode it across the planet to get the reach and the relationships and the riches you want to make that impact you want, it might be hard for your heart to say goodbye to some stuff, to some habits, to some people, to some thought patterns. This is stuff I'm going through myself right now. Um, but there's hope. I can feel that hope brewing 
because there's potentially a whole lot of stuff waiting for me to be clear and free so that I can say hello to all those things that are, are waiting for me to have cleared out the past. And I wish that for you. I wish that for you in 2024 that you would say goodbye to all the things you need to say goodbye to, all the memories, so that you're not continuously dragging them up to the present to continue the suffering into today so that you could say hello to all those things that uh, that really want to say hello to you. So I'm right here with you. I'm going through this myself. I've certainly not arrived. I'm certainly not perfect in this, but I'm. it's just on my heart that it's so important for me to say goodbye to the things that I need to say goodbye to. It's like shedding skin. I remember reading, and I've said this in a couple videos, I read this thing that says all of our cells are only two to three months old max. So the physical body I have is no more than two or three months old at any given time in life. Has only ever been that. But the soul and the, the memories and all that stuff can continue long after. So I'm seeking to be reborn this year in a brand new fashion. I want to encounter a version of Amos in 2024 and to become that person that I've always dreamed of being. And that's what 2023 taught me is that I'm far more capable of achieving things than I realize, and I didn't even try that hard in 2023. And so I'm excited for 2024 to shake hands with everything that is waiting to shake hands with me.